Hello everyone, Mike127 here, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and we are down in the trench, which is not good. There must be some kind of way out of here, said the Joker to the thief, but I don't know what that's going to be. I've been in this situation before, my last playthrough, this is exactly what happened last time. See, the, the, I know there's a way around this trench, actually there's a bridge right over there, that's how you're supposed to get across. Actually, those aren't even bridges, are those? What, what, what is that structure over there? I guess we can go find out. We're exploring. We're explorers. We're travelers. Um, yeah, this is not a fun place to be right here, down here. Especially when you don't have that much stamina. Because my first playthrough, this was the third... Like, I, you know, I already had two Divine Beasts un under my belt. So I must have had a lot more stamina here than I do now. This is going to be a lot tougher. If I can get up to the top of that structure, that would be great, and I am confident that I can do that. That's really what this whole episode, and maybe the next two episodes is going to be. It really depresses me to think that, but it's going to be getting out of this trench. But, you know, that's part of the game. So you, sometimes you have... You know, that's part of exploring. You get yourself into situations like this, and then, you know, your whole... Your whole goal is to get out of it. You can't really do much else that's fun. I can try to get on top of that. I don't. I didn't see if there's anything on top of these pillars that's worth exploring. I kind of want to just get out of here as fast as possible. I don't want to... Like, unless I absolutely see something that I want to try to get on top of like those pillars, I'm not going to waste my time climbing them. Because, yeah, climbing is slow. So, I, I just hope this whole episode isn't just me climbing, and climbing, and climbing. It may not be. Is this, the for this can't be the Forgotten Temple. Oh, no. Oh, no, just get up here at least. <sighs> no. Yes, it is the Forgotten Temple. I thought that was on the northern side of the map. See, we're... we're pretty much west now. We're close to where we want to be. Oh, that's not good, though. The effing rain. Um, can I... Here, you know what I can do? I think I'm underneath something. I can... I can make this go away, hopefully. I have some... I need some flint and some wood. Do I have that? Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't... Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. I have wood, anyway. If I need to, I can just use a fire arrow or something, if I have that. So I don't see any flint. No flint. It, oh, shit. This is bad. Do I have fire arrows, then? I have five, so that's the way I'm going to have to do it. And I gotta make this count. I gotta make this count. So we're going to go ahead and we're gonna get them out. We're already selected. Light it on fire. Sleep until... What, where are we at? We're at in the morning now, so I'm going to go with night. Usually if you skip ahead two cycles, that should get rid of the weather. That's what I found anyway, and that is what happened. Very good. Okay. So that was worth wasting a fire arrow on. It really was. Now I'll just see if I can... Okay, you can stand on these. Very good. So this won't be too bad. Yes, the Forgotten Temple we want to stay away from. We don't want to go inside. There's tons of guardians in there. There is a shrine. And there's actually quite a few other good things in there. So it, the Forgotten Temple is worth checking out. But not right now. That's a late game thing. up here. I guess when I do climbing like this, I can speed it up, if, 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 especially if I got nothing to say. So, let's just get up here, first of all. I can even cut the footage. I mean, there's nothing really for you to see in speed up mode. Ooh, it's gonna be close, gonna be close, gonna be, okay, oof. Yeah, I don't know, like, would you... Would you prefer, and I guess I, I wouldn't really 
be able to go off of this answer because it would be too late, the episode would be up and posted and edited. But would you prefer that, I guess, in, in, for future reference, that I cut out climbing like that, or if I speed it up? Maybe speeding it up won't be so bad. I think that's what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, and then if you think that looks stupid and weird, just let me know, and I'll just cut it out. Um, what do I want to do now? I kind of want to look over here and see what this wall is while I'm up here. Um, just go ahead and throw this. Go boom. What do we got? Probably a Korok. That's exactly what that is. I'll take it. I want to build up on these things. Where am I at now? Am I at 10? 8? Oh, almost. If I can get up to 10, I might go back try to find one of those, um... I don't even know what, what, what his name is. That that big Korok that upgrades all your inventory. I don't know what his name is. Oh boy, this is going to be tough to climb this part. I gotta see... Hmm... It looks like over here might be my best bet. Looks like there's some places to stop over here. Yeah, we'll go up here. Yeah, there's, there's a good path to climb up over here. Right about here, starting. I wish I could have more climber's gear. I don't remember where you get the, the shirt and the pants. I remember getting it at the same time, too. My first playthrough, the bandana was the last part of the climber's gear that I got. Almost to the top of this. Yeah, I can, I can definitely get up now. I want to keep moving forward a little bit. Let's see if there's anything worth looking at around here. Any chest or anything. You'd think they put something up here. But I'm not seeing anything. If I remember correctly, there's a shrine on top of this structure. So now that I see all these, like, circles and stuff like this, I remember finding a shrine down on top of this. Maybe I'm crazy, I don't know. But I'm getting up there. I guess this is the way to go if you get stuck down this trench. I, I did it completely differently my first time, my first playthrough. I, I actually did it the hard way by climbing up the sides of the trench from the very bottom, if you know what I mean. I didn't. I did not take this route. But again, back then I had. There's another dragon. There he is again. That's the whole reason why I got down there. Mm. I didn't even get the. Ugh. Like I was right above the horn. I was. You know. The, in case you didn't see the last episode and you were wondering how I got down, got down here. I saw a dragon, I jumped towards it, and I was right above the horn. I was in perfect position to shoot the horn, which is very valuable. If you can get a dragon horn, that's very valuable. And I had it. I had it right there, and I still m missed the shot. <laughs> and then I fell. I mean, I would have fallen down here either way, but it just... If I didn't see that dragon, I wouldn't have jumped in that direction. I would have tried to get around the trench. Because I know there is an easier way around. It's kind of a long way, but... It saves you the trouble of having to climb all the way back out. It would have been more exciting, I think, to do the long way around than trying to go through the trench. Because no matter what, you're going to have to climb it. I'm sure there's a, I think there's a bridge somewhere, but I don't remember exactly where. But we're getting out of it, thank god. It didn't take too long. Where are we at? We're at 10 minutes in the video, so that's actually not too bad. I'll try to ignore you bastards if I can. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh boy, being out of stamina is not good right now. I'd like to kill that wolf, but he. I have no, I have no arrows. Let's try something. Let's switch over to something that... Here, get away from me. Do you have a bow? You don't have a bow. One of you's got a bow. Let me just get rid of this guy, at the very least. 
I want to get this guy to be shooting some arrows so I can pick him up. Really? Are you serious? Oh, you're not going to believe it, but that death took me all the way back to that Korok that I found about midway up the, uh, the temple. I'm not going to use a fire arrow on that thing. So, yeah. Let's try that again. Get your shield out. I can't believe that bastard got me in one shot. That doesn't help either. Now I can't... Ugh. Pa uh, don't let yourself die again. Don't let it happen again. I just lost a shield for that. See, what I want to do is do the shield trick. So I'm going to get a few of these in there. I think it only carries about three. Get away from me. Get out of here. Okay. And how do I put it away? Oh, yeah, you, you press the B button. Okay, very good. That works. I mean, I lost an arrow from it, but I gained two. So that's a profit. It really wasn't worth my time. At least I got something to work off of. Alright, so now we're out of the trench. That's good news. I mean, I had to die to do it, but... I mean, it wasn't too bad getting it. I, th I really just had to do, like, the last half of that climb up the Forgotten Temple again. So, it is what it is. Ooh, I'm trying to get some of these bugs. You, you, have, you have to sneak up on these things. Uh, sun, sunset fireflies, they um, affect your stealth when you put them into elixirs and stuff like that. It sounds like we have more rain on the way. Well, at least it waited till I got out of this trench to start raining again. What do you got for me? Uh-oh. Is this going to be the first one of these? Yep. I think so. So yeah, um, this is the first member of the Yika clan that we've encountered. He's gonna actually help us get some arrows. So these guys, they're spread throughout the world, and uh, yeah, you'll find various NPCs that are disguised as them. Ow. Oh, he's gonna get hit by lightning. He's gonna get hit by lightning. I, I kinda wanna see this. Oh, fuck you. You deserve that. That's hilarious. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, do I get to have his weapon, though? Yeah, I do. That's a pretty good weapon, the Vicious Sickle. Fortunately, he didn't have any arrows. See, some of those guys, they have um, pretty good bows, actually, that shoot actually multiple arrows at once. We haven't encountered that yet. There are some bows in this game that shoot more than one arrow at at once. I'm trying to see if this well could yield a Korok to me. I don't see anything to put into it, so I'll just move on. But yeah, the Yiga clan, they actually do play a pretty big part in the story in the game later on, but it's not going to be to like close to the end of the game where we see that. So, but yeah, we'll be seeing them here and there, just spread throughout the world. Hello. I don't want to talk to those things. Now I gotta find out where I need to be going. Um, looking for that bird. I mean, I could check my map, but I'm just gonna kind of head in a aimlessly west direction. I, at least I hope I'm going westward. these things. Yeah, there we go. I'm trying to use my weapons on them instead of using my bow. I want to save my arrows as much as possible. I should be close to the stable, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. It's over there. I've been over there. You can tell by the blue illumination of those towers. I've been over there. Is that where I want to go, or is that higher? Ooh, I might be going the wrong way. Shit. That's Death Mountain. Oh no. Okay, let's see. Where am I going? Um. I'm not exactly going the wrong way, but I want to change my direction to more like 
that. So really I'm going to be heading back towards where I died. Oh man. That's not good. I, if I could find a tower out here, that'd be great, but I don't think there is one. I thought I knew where I was, but I, I, I was wrong. I was trying to just go off of my memory from my last place. Knowing that getting across that trench would get me close to the Rito region, but apparently it's not. So I want to get myself nice and high up. I'm going to try to just fight these things. Oh boy. I don't know what they call these wolfos. Actually, let's get our... Well, maybe next time. I'm going to get my camera out. Actually, can I do it? No, I don't want to do that. I want to do that. But he's probably too far away for me to do right now. Go, can I zoom in on him? I know you can zoom on these, right? I think I lost him. I'm trying to get a picture because I don't know if they call them wolfos. Like they have been called in other Zelda games or if they're just wolves. Um, I'm gonna, come on, keep that western motion going. This is the way I want to go. Really, that tower should be... A, where I'm heading. Let me just here. Let me mark that. If I can. Come on. Come on. That's how bad of aim I have. That's yeah. That is where I want to go. So I'm gonna head towards that tower. Ugh. I feel like I went the wrong way out of the trench. Then. I mean, I can still go around it. It's fine. But I think I came out of the wrong side of the trench. That's really what happened. So yeah, now that I see all that, all those snowy mountains, that is definitely where I want to go. But the problem, though, with that that tower, I can't really... Actually, that tower should be the one I should be going to, not that one. So let me... Come on. I'm having trouble aiming this thing. I really am. If I had my... It'd be better if I had my gamepad. It'd be ever so... I wonder if it's like a sen if I can change my sensitivity on that maybe. Is there a sensitivity? Because I feel like it's very sensitive camera sensitivity. Very f okay. Let's try. Let's try this. Does it help? Mm, no. Oh wait, that's th this camera sensitivity. I thought. No, I kind of want to go back to that then. Yeah, no. This is what they mean by camera sensitivity, the, the ability to rotate the, the camera. I thought it, it was like first-person mode and aiming with your bow and all that stuff. Oh, well. Yeah, I, I aim a lot better with the gamepad because it has the motion controls. That's the, one, that's the one area where I will applaud the motion controls. It's right there. Aiming is a lot easier with the gamepad or with the Joy-Cons if you're playing on the Switch. See, so yeah, I really am heading towards that farther tower. Which is the one highlighted in blue right there. Man, I got really off track then. Because this is where I was, with, like, a couple episodes ago where I went to that t that one difficult tower. I should have... Yeah, damn. I went north from it instead of going west. I should have went straight west out that way. So what I have to do is go around. And hopefully I don't have to deal too much with the snowy terrain over here. I'm not going to go for that closer tower because that is right in the middle of the of the snowy Hebra region. So that's where we're going to be heading towards pretty soon since the Hebra region. region. And they're giving us some spicy peppers to prepare for it actually. If there's a cooking pot. I think I do have some yeah I have a, at least one thing on here that will give me some Heat or some cold resistance. Actually, looks like I have two things there. Boy, this has just been an uneventful episode. I haven't done anything. I just climbed out of the trench and went the wrong way, and that just killed it. But you know, I guess gotta move on with it. I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can see any shrines around here to maybe break things up a little bit. I think if I were to drop down, I'd get to one. But I don't want to climb back up again. 
So, I'm just gonna keep on going, trying to go around. Now I really want to see what's down that way. It looks like an inch. See, that's just part of this game, you know. You see a, a path that looks interesting. What is up there? Let's see, that's north. I don't think that's gonna take me anywhere good right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be heading into the cold. There it is right there. Okay, so. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, this will be enough to get me through here. It doesn't look like it. Oh, boy. Let me go back a little ways. I might have to go back down in the trench, which I'd stay up high. It's about to rain, too. Oh, boy. I just got myself in a bad situation. I just got myself in a really bad... I got myself completely off track. I'm going to have to jump down here and kind of... Trying to go all the way down... I try to stay as high as I can. I just don't want to get to the very top, because then that'll take me in, into the snowy region. And I don't have enough food to get me through all that. At least I don't think I do. I want to try to get at least part ways through here, and then maybe I can climb up, and then I can eat my cold resistance food. But I want to try to take a shortcut if I can't. Oh, we'll see if this is really a shortcut. Again, I'm just trying to prevent having to climb as much as possible. Let's see, we'll climb up this. Mm, and then... Uh, it looks like an easier climb up here. I can probably get up if I go, went this way, but I want to keep heading this direction. See, you just never know what you're gonna have to climb. So I could find something very easy to climb up over here, which would be ideal. So really, I'm just kind of rolling the dice. Here's some rocks. Maybe this might have a Korok in it. Maybe. I don't know what I would do with these. I'm not gonna waste too much time thinking about it. I'm just gonna keep on going forward. I'm starting to kind of get scary here, the way this is... I can't walk here as much as I would like to. I'm going to have to just start climbing now. Ooh, it's going to be close! Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, goodness gracious. We're, we're getting there, though. Um, I'm trying to find something to break this ore with. I don't really want to use this battle axe, though, on it. No, use bombs, dummy. Come on. Pull that up. It'll probably blow away everything that I'm trying to get, but, you know. 60 rupees. I guess it was worth it. Uh, this would definitely be worth it. But I gotta make sure I keep an eye out for where I'll go. So that's a golden one, so... There we go. I think I saw a rupee. Our ruby. Yep. There we go. Our first ruby. And some much needed flint in case it rains. Oh, please do not rain. This is really all, all I can count on now is climbing this and just hope I can get there. Alright, what I was trying to do right here is run up this to gain some stamina let go run no 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 oh. we start running from the bottom of this thing let go run that's more that's probably the best I can do I'm just have to deal with that this is tough but I think I can do it I don't think I can do it oh Jesus I can just get above this ridge. Oh, there's no way in hell, man. I'm gonna fall. Uh oh. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. 
We're gonna do it right. Just keep letting go and running. I'm gonna get a little bit hurt, but I don't want to eat my food in, uh, until I get to the very top. I will eat, like, health... And actually, the thing is, with the food that I'm gonna eat, it does replenish health. So, I'll, I'll, I'll eat all the health that I... Oh, God. This is not good. I knew that wasn't gonna work. Oh, how far am I gonna go? How far am I gonna go? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we are back. Um, that death took me all the way across the trench where I realized I was going the wrong way. That wasn't quite going towards the, uh, Brito area, and now here I am. It's cold, I'm getting hurt. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat the damage, though, because, again, when you eat the food, it recovers your health. When I'm gonna eat the food that, uh, gives me cold resistance. So I'm just gonna go with that strategy. See, I didn't even... That's the thing, I didn't even really think about that. That I could just go ahead and let some, you know, time pass where I lose some health from being too cold. I'm gonna let it go down to where I have one heart left. Avoid any battles that I can. We already have, looks like a Lazalfos right there. What is that? No, that, oh yeah, that's right. In the cold regions, the animals are actually uh, white. Like, that was a fox, just like you, you normally see, but it was a... Uh, Uh-oh. That's not what I want. Run. Just run. Looks like there's a stable over there and a shrine, so I don't want to get to that. It's not an ideal route at all. I just want to avoid all battles when I'm here until I get the proper equipment. See, when I get to the reader region, I can get clothes that allow me to withstand this without having to take any kind of cold resisting medicine. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. But see, now I have the cold resistance. I really don't want to go into the shrine now because that's going to waste my cold resistance. Because so I shouldn't need cold resistance in the shrine. Oh, shit. I don't know what to do now. I can buy some arrows. Man. I really should have just ate regular food and not the cold resistance food. Damn it, you idiot. Uh, well, there's no taking it back now, so. I mean, I don't know how much further I need to go. I really want to go ahead and get this shrine, though. I don't have enough rupees, really. Well, let's change that. Uh, where am I at? Uh, yeah, I'm about ready to be done this episode. Um, and in that death, I lost all that good... Um, all those good gems I got from all that mining I did. The ruby and the topaz. I lost all that. But hopefully this will do me well. A couple ambers and an opal. Jeez, I'm just not well equipped anymore. Okay, give me, give me the arrows. Good lord, man. I'm back down to... Well, that got me enough rupees to pay for that, because that's exactly what I got from the two ambers and the opal, was 120. Oh, boy. I don't know what to do now. I have cold resistance. I don't want to waste it. Can I, like... No, see, I have to go inside the... You know what? Just go inside the shrine so you can warp to it. I'm not going to play the shrine, because I don't want to waste my cold resistance. So, I'm going to go inside, and then I'll warp back here and play it after I get to the Rito region. That's my plan. Thought about doing the shrine, if it was fast enough, but I went ahead and just... I'm, I'm going to skip it. I want to get myself another warp point, maybe another shrine. If I can get to that... Let's see, where am I trying to get to? I could get to that tower marked in red. But I really want to get us over there. So I just want to try to cut through here as fast as I can. Actually, fuck, get a horse, man. What am I 
thinking. If I can get me a horse and just breeze through here. I'm all, actually, I can cook some more. Let's do this, too. I have some peppers, right? Did, did I keep the peppers? Or did I... Oh, because I died, I lost the peppers. Idiot. Ugh. That death really, really messed me up. If I would have kept those peppers, I could have made more cold-resistant food, but I don't think I have anything in here that's going to help me. Oh no, do I have cool st I have this. It's not going to help too much. But I'll... Shoot, I'll do that. Anything else that has cold resistance I can throw in here? I can put a little bit of hardiness in it. <laughs> so I can heal really good from it. Let's see what this makes me. That didn't even give me cold resistance. Fuck. Well, whatever. I sh should have kept those peppers, but oh well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get my horse. My good horse. Frank. So. This will give me some speed to get across this snow land. I just want to breeze across here. Let's go. Like the wind. I have three minutes, and then I can let my health go back down and use my other cold resistant food. I know I have one more thing. So, what direction do I want to head in? I mean, shoot, that tower. According to my map, I'm going straight to that other tower, which we can see right there. But it's up a mountain, and I don't really want to mess with that. What are you doing? Oh, he's not obeying me. He's not obeying me. Is it because it's cold? I don't know. I'm gonna try to stay on the path as best as I can. Um, but this path is leading me up. Oh no, it's kind of leading me in the right direction, I guess. Is there a split road? Because I kind of want to go around. See, I don't want to make it difficult on my horse to travel, so I want to stay on the path. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. Um, I should stop this episode, by the way. I'm up to fucking 43 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this episode right here. I'm gonna pause. So next time on Breath of the Wild, we're gonna try to get <laughs> through the snowfield and uh, get to the Rito region. I'm really hoping I can get there within the next episode. I'm praying. So thanks for bearing with me. I know this wasn't a very fun one, but sometimes, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Michael Tune 7 signing out.